Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kicking? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are. Because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. Light in the Loafers, Lovebirds, and welcome to another Hubba Hubba episode of Hey Queen with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. We have an enchanted show for you today, my children. Today we are presenting America's Gay Sweethearts. It's a tale as old as time. Boy meets boy, they fall in love and vlog about it. I can't wait to get the tea and the shade about their relationship. Now I know you're sitting there wondering, who could it be, Johnny? Tell us, tell us, well, honey, from YouTube, it's Will and RJ. Yay! But before we bring the charismatic couple out here, there's something else I need to rave about. Someone else, as a matter of fact. <laughs> this lady is a charismatic couple of her own, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when she was born, she mopped that hospital gown, hunty. And just like a soap opera, she can make you laugh, she can make you cry, and if you watch too much of her, you may go insane. <laughs> it's Miss Lady Recator. <laughs> Silly. They like to write a lot of alliteration in that introduction. I'm just honey. saying, sometimes you need a lot of words, you know, <laughs> yeah. to describe something so magnanimous. So magnificent, honey. Ma yes, I like to say magnanimous because I have a certain attraction. Oh, oh, quiver that lip. <laughs> quiver that lip, Gwen. How are you doing, honey? Your I'm hair is close to Jesus Baby, today. so tired. Just holding my head up as a feat today. <laughs> well, I bet. I do it for the children. Yes, you do. No other bitch is going to give you these many wigs all in one. Mm -hmm. so, Honey, yeah. I mean, if it was winter outside, you wouldn't need a hat. I'm you got just, a hat right on your head. I'm just telling you, I have a snack hidden. Oh, do you? Yes, you don't Cheez know. Cheez-Its inside? I'm just saying. Bucket of KFC? I mean, Wendy Williams ain't got shit on me. <laughs> oh, that's right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> she only got one wig normally. Right. You got a 10 <laughs> wig and 24 inches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about you know what. Oh, you no, know, yeah, no, no. <laughs> not 20, not a, no. That's a lot. No. <laughs> and you got that extra sparkle on your eye because if I know when you're tired, because you got <laughs> extra sparkle. Don't tell beat, my beat, beat, beat. When Don't you look like you're secrets. a fairy from Fairyland, whatever I know the is. bitch woke up at 3 30 in the you're morning. Right. Whatever you get this good old sparkly fairy beat, mm -hmm. you already know I have been up a long she time. She is sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> but you're looking gorgeous, darling. You're looking gorgeous. You have on your Hey Queen well, um, t shirt course, from Drag Queen. Fairy. At DragQueenMerch.com. You're not the only one who have a job oh, here. You're right about that. <laughs> um, please, someone please call HR. This woman is harassing me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, yes. yes. Now, honey, you know our little Adam Joseph is on tour, honey. Oh. I know he's out flitting around, singing for someone else, singing for Dick. In the songs of Berlin or whatever else he do. I mean, she's on the ski slopes, you know. She's on the ski slopes, she, you know, rolling she always, around. Yeah, making a European. She a European, European, exactly. Mm -hmm. She's more likely sipping hot cocoa and sucking dicks. That's what she <laughs> Damn, all at the same time? All the while, she's very talented. <laughs> uh, but instead, we do have a very special guest band leader, oh, honey. Cool. But it's your arch nemesis. She's trying to come for your spot on RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. I'm so sick of her. <laughs> but we love her. <laughs> well, girl, I'm talking about Miss Fuego and the Go to Bed Wings. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuego Aguilera, I guess, honey. Okay, <laughs> what's up, kids? <laughs> yeah. That is all your fault. That is all your fault. I know. How you doing, Johnny? Oh, Miss Fuego, I'm doing good. You look sparkly and oh, beautiful. Thank you, darling. Hi, Lady Red. Hello, darling. 
Hold on, honey. It's the battle of the divas today. Por favor, good to see you, baby. You look fabulous as always. Of course, darling. And when you're finished with my jewelry, could you put it back in my purse? Same with my wig. <laughs> oh, oh, the shade is getting started early, and I'm loving it. I mean, it's, it's good that she finally stepped her look up. Oh. You know what, honey? You have seen nothing yet. I mean, not all of us you can wear a cap that. and call it a wig. Oh, oh okay, girl. You know snap. what? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to come over there and I'm going to pluck you myself. I'm going to take every little hair out of your body and I'm going to. I don't as know. As soon as you learn do. how to fly, darling. <laughs> <laughs> darling, you know I'm a flightless bird, and that's a very sore point. <laughs> Below the bed, Lady Red. <laughs> Lady Red, you're treating Miss Frigo just like Simon Cowell did when she was on America's Got Talent. Oh. I mean, she's used to it. Oh. No, nobody could hurt me like he did, Johnny. No. No one could hurt me. I had barely opened my mouth mm -hmm. to sing I Will Survive, and he, he, well, he looked like he choked on his own spit, but oh. it was bad. It was bad. He stopped the show. Oh. X is everywhere. Oh. Why you bring that up, Johnny? Do you like to see me get flustered on camera? <laughs> I kind of do enjoy it, Miss Wiggo. <laughs> oh uh, well, Miss Wiggo, we don't want to make you feel bad. We love you. We're very glad you're here. Let's hear from Miss Wiggo. You too. <laughs> well, honey, we got a sexy show, so we better get this shit started. I'm excited. We got Will and RJ in the house. Yeah! Yay! And we'll be with them right after this very gay break. Hit it, Miss Wiggo! <laughs> Will and RJ will and RJ will and RJ your neighbors can hear you making love. I'm spilling the tea. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. It's Hey Queen Hot Tea. Oh, the show where we sip steaming hot celebrity lives and throw Hollywood shade. I'm your host, Mr. Johnny McGovern, with my favorite hilarious people, Julie Goldman, Lady Red Couture, the beautiful Brandy Howard. Yes. Oh my god, it's so hot I don't want to touch it, but I just can't resist. <laughs> Real Housewives, real plastic surgery. Richard Simmons oh. transition. She looks like Kelly Osborne. Trixie Mattel. Yeah. Manila Luzon. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon <laughs> Bannon's boyfriend is Callum Best. Obviously, he's good at what he does because he's fucking the best of the best. <laughs> Kylie, Chloe, and Kim have not gotten near a white dick since junior high. Release the Kraken! I cannot deal with that at all. I will go crazy. It's making me crazy right now. And now I'm insane. Oh, but if you want the tea, honey, the total tea, girl. No O's for the tea. Hey, queen. Come back. My guests today are handsome, sexy, and newlyweds. Uh, they've been living their life on YouTube well, pretty much since they met, honey. And we're going to be getting even more tea from them than you ever thought possible. Yes, I'm talking about Will and RJ. Yay! Yay! Will and RJ, Will and RJ, Will and RJ. The neighbors can hear them making love. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here they are. Well, RJ. Okay. Oh, was that good? Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Do you like your weird theme song from Miss Wiggo? <laughs> yeah. I wish I had it before. I know. I know. We could have started every vlog that way. I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be great. Be well, I'm and here RJ, for you guys. Plus, plus, it has "Making Love" in the title, Making and love. that's always good for YouTube. Oh, yes. Yeah, gotta get that clickbait. <laughs> Even more so these days. But yep. you know, we can get into that. <laughs> Yes, we'll get into all, all of it, honey. It, all of it. Lady Red, look at these two cuties we got here. They are so adorable. They make me hungry because I just want to eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> promise. Please. <laughs> it's always Please. a promise than a threat. <laughs> I'll take what it. I can get. <laughs> Boys, I'm so happy to have you here today. Yeah, I'm so glad we finally, us. I've been waiting by the phone, have just you? waiting. Waiting, waiting. Finally. Well, it finally happened. You're yes. here. Yes. So Sparklier excited. than ever. Yeah. yeah, this upholstery Look at this. lives. I Sequence. know, honey. And, I mean, get, should we do a reveal Wait, at the same on. time? Yeah. 
uh, these boys and I, we think alike. And let's get a master shot, honey. Ready? One, two. two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can't prepare. We did. I know. I enjoy it. Although uh, my, mine is slightly different. Mine's been blessed by uh, by Willem and Katya. Oh, wonderful. And actually, I'm not. This is Sade. It's not Sade. Shade. Oh, I think because you Katya added a, Katya little added a little accent, accent to it. Of course she did. Of course God she bless. did. Because <laughs> it's. I mean, because that's what Katya does. That's Got what she does. Her. She accents. <laughs> it's great. It's amazing. No, I mean, I was looking at you and I was like, they look cute. I've seen those outfits on their vlogs. There must be so much pressure on you guys because you've been, like, at least you're not vlogging every single day anymore. Right. But you guys did that for how long? Every day. I think it was five years. Almost five years. Uh, like four and a half. I mean, that in itself <laughs> yes. blows my mind. Yeah. It kind of blows ours. Yeah. Actually, yeah. when we look back on it, it's just like, how did we do that? Too, yeah, too many videos. I think it's like 1,600 now on our channel. Something uh, like that. Yeah, I mean, I was going through being like, let me just catch up with Will and RJ. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Let me just see. I was like, this is still this much. Yeah. Yeah. You know, What's yeah. Too on? much. You don't too have that much. kind of time. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's why when people are like, uh, nothing personal, I don't really watch your channel. I'm like, that's fine. It's fine. Not everybody there's, has that kind of time. There's a lot to watch. You're like, it's not for you. Yeah. It's not for you. Okay? It's fine. We're friends. We know each other in real life. Text it's not me. for you. Right, exactly. No, yeah, totally. Oh my gosh. I just like the that in itself is such a huge achievement. Yeah. Thanks. And also the fact that you're still together after Whoa. vlogging. Oh my gosh, how long? Because like there's so many daily vloggers on YouTube that fell apart because of daily vlogging. Yeah. So we were like, ooh, we kind of dodged the bullet. We did, especially like Jesse and Gina were like one the a pretty big like hetero couple that were daily vlogging. They were like the biggest, I mm -hmm. think, at one I point. Think they were the biggest. And the day we announced that we were no longer daily vlogging was the same day that they, did they announced that not only were their vlogs ending, but their relationship, the relationship was, was also kind of like well. so, so we're like Ooh, we dodged a bullet there. Yeah. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. No. Yeah. God rest her soul. But it was but it was nice that, that our daily vlogs got to end on like the highest of high notes. Yeah. Like it was right great. Right into the sunset. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Now well now you're still pretty much newlyweds, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean we've been together for like seven and a half years. Yes. So but I mean like, wedded. Yes. Uh, it's true. Uh, husband. Husband. I do love that word. I know. Me too. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, nice. Way better than fiance because people when you say I've been with my fiance, we're like, engaged, blah blah. Oh, what's, what's her, her name? name? Will. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that like short for Wilhelmina? I'm like, no, it's, no, a, it's, it's a man. A, it's a dude. It is a man. That's a man, baby. Yes, yeah. exactly. And they're like, oh. You're like, oh, well, congratulations. I love gays. I love marriage. Oh, yeah, I love, I'm wonderful oh, for I'm it. So, I love gay rights. No. Yeah, oh, I, su I support you guys. I'm like, that's great. I that's support good. you too. You're a decent being human hetero. being. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess the secret to a good marriage is a husband with a big, white, juicy booty. Is that right? I yeah. mean, <laughs> it's not essential, but it helps. <laughs> you were saying you were visiting some of with some of Will's country boy friends. Yes, we were just in Yosemite uh, with two of his like childhood friends. I mean, it was it was like all three of you guys grew up on the same street, right? Oh, yeah, we've known each other for twenty seven. And years. so yeah, I'm bringing up the rear. Um, like yeah, a good yeah. top, yeah. and I'm hiking <laughs> in the back of the group, and all I see is just all these big old juicy Dunks. country booties, mm. and I'm like, where do these white boys get it? Because I'm Cuban, I should have dunk. <laughs> right. I've been cheated by Jeanette. I'm like, it's not, it's. I'm working on it. <laughs> I have to squat and deadlift it's myself okay. into oblivion. Okay. You make up another area. So. Oh, ay ay ay, spicy. I like a lady red like licking her lips over there. <laughs> oh wait, she's just eating a snack. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, if it's she white, it ain't right. She's got the munchies. <laughs> um, so, I mean, so tell me about the the lead up to the marriage. You guys were engaged for a really long time. It w I mean, and we, shared the details of the lead up yeah, with all of your not fans. All, yeah. Not all of the details, let's be clear. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, like, <laughs> uh, wedding planning really wasn't that stressful for us. We were kind of on the same page with a lot I don't of what you. It was pretty stressful for me. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Well, okay. So, <laughs> no, it's a really stressful. Tea and something that wasn't. Here we go. You guys. No, <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I did have 
like I thought he was gonna be the Bridezilla, but I actually had a pretty ugly Bridezilla meltdown. Oh this my! Is, yeah, no, grab your gloves to hold your mug, ladies, because <laughs> um, this is hot. Um, my, I, I had my ugliest, ugliest Bridezilla meltdown in an Uber pool, which, oh no. which was uh, not, yeah, not a good place to have a that Bridezilla no, meltdown. Well, because I, I had just found out that, so we, you know, we had the invite lists, we were already ordering like corsages and all that for like the grandparents, and then I find out that some of my family was not going to show up to the wedding for reasons. And mm. oh, she says, oh, reasons right. of, of homosexuality mm. or what? Just no comment. Okay, uh, all right. Fam- yeah, there we fam- go. Family right. things. Okay. Family shit. And so I get the text from my mom that like half of my like relatives aren't going to be showing up. And so I and she proceeds to call. I have a meltdown. I have, and I'm on my way to an event. Have it like screaming into my phone, like just absolutely just ugliest of ugly meltdowns. And then I hang up and this lady who's sitting next to me turns is like, hi, I'm a journalist with Travel and Leisure magazine. Oh We're God. doing a social experiment where we uh, ride in an Uber pool with a breathing and yoga instructor. And it sounds like you could use some relaxation. No. <laughs> I was like, you are not wrong. It's online somewhere. I've tweeted <laughs> the link. It is on, like the link is somewhere in the internet. For so- I'm sure someone's gonna find it and tweet it and I'll retweet it again because it was, <laughs> it was. He needed it. He needed yes, that yoga. Yes, I was in need of some relaxation. Yes. It's I, grueling. It's right. grueling. Um, I mean, when you're in it, it's it's you know you get used to it, obviously. But then, as soon as we kind of gave ourselves a break, it was like, yeah, I don't really miss the grueling. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. And how many are you, how many times do you guys do videos now? So it's uh, kind of what. See what when we stopped, <laughs> I wanted to get back to where we were before we started, where we made videos when we were inspired. So it's kind of when the inspiration hits us. Sometimes we'll make a video, a couple of videos a week, or maybe we'll go a couple of weeks without posting anything. So we, I want it to be inspired when I mm, create yeah. it. Hooray for getting your life back again! Yeah, yeah. Having yeah. Having yeah. Having yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially in your first year as newlyweds, honey, mm-hmm. you want to be able to get enjoy back into each other. enjoy yeah. all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Affection. It's been, yeah. It is. <laughs> JK. Now you guys met. Now tell me about when you met. I love this story. Because it's uh, a kind of a dramatic it story. Is. A so, but it leads to a heart-shaped love and vlog universe yeah. and all the rest. So yeah. let me paint the scene. Okay. Uh, so we're juniors in college at FSU, mm-hmm. and I was volunteering at the LGBT Student Resource Center on campus. And um, I would go there after work. I had like a full-time job and I was going to school, but at nights I would volunteer. And I walked in at around like 5.30, more or less. And I see this fucking like drop dead gorgeous guy like, right inside the door, kind of like looking at the bulletin boards, trying to figure out what the center's all about. And I stopped and I, I'm like, oh my God, this guy is beautiful. And I'm like, hi, hello, my name is Will, I'm the volunteer, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Quickly scoot around and I, the, there are a lot of people that are always there at the center and the kind of the regulars. So I asked them like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's just some straight guy, RJ, with his okay. friend. They're working on. Oh, okay. Oh. So no, we're not pausing. No, uh, <laughs> no, we're gonna keep going. This is the train's left the station. So, no, <laughs> um, uh, they're like, oh, it's some straight guy working on a documentary about okay, asterisk movie, blah, blah, for blah, later. Blah, blah. Yeah, next. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, okay, well that's fine. Whatever. Do not talk to him because that motherfucker is mine. I yeah. like, I like not, that. I was like, mm, not he is mine. That that no. is mine. <laughs> Objectification <laughs> to the max has been yeah. since day one. So. <laughs> Well, he's like wandering around, blah, blah, blah. He's asking questions. He's he's gathering stories for the documentary that he's making. And they're uh, at the end of like, we all kind of gather in a room and there was like this really weird competition about who was the, who looked the gayest in the room. And I don't, so problematic back then. Yeah. But uh, (laughs) we didn't know any better. (laughs) Homeboy picked me. He was like, you look the gayest because I had glasses. I'm I like, thought it was a you? trap, okay? <laughs> because there's one like home, there's one homegirl in the room who's a lisp with feet. Like she's she's just right, right. super femme. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. But I thought it was a trap. I thought it was a trap, so I'm like, I have good, to go with a not. Good from your YouTube comment. I have right. to, not yeah. that there's anything wrong. Not that there's anything yeah, wrong. No, 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 no. I have wrong. learned, I have learned many, many things in my time on the internet. Uh, but I thought it was a trap. I thought I was being trapped, so I had to go with a not obvious answer. Answer. Uh-huh. Also, aside, um, yeah, I was, I was in the, I was in 
pro in the process of finding myself. I was on my journey. But then also when I walk into to Pride, everybody's dated and slept with each other already. So Fresh Meat walks in and mm. it's a feeding frenzy. So I'm just like, guys, I'm trying to do work. I'm, I'm straight. Can you stop trying to ask me when I get off? <laughs> Whatever. Because <laughs> I got off. work to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. Right. We all know how that... We all know how that and, <laughs> and this guy called my bluff and is like, oh, so you're straight. I have a YouTube channel that I'm on, a collab channel. Like, I want you to be on it. And I'm like, sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what Whatever. could go wrong? Whatever worked, right? Uh, totally. Whatever yeah. it takes, bag them. Like, yeah. yeah. You identify. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Will grew up in a small, small town. And so he's like, yeah, sure. So, you know, you're straight. You so you're straight. That's great. Up. Cool. Well, yeah. yeah. So you know. my fucking dick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, no, more like he's the one that's like, just, just you don't got to say anything. You know, mm. you just got to just, just sit gotta back and relax. Oh, well, I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, his game. So is now, how just... long from the, uh, the, the feeling circle at the Pride Center to getting down to business? A week? Two weeks. Two mm. weeks. Two weeks. Was it two weeks? It was two weeks. You uh, were definitely on your journey because your walls were cracking down. Of yeah. Yes. Oh, so, like, yeah. I mean, Catholicism I mean, does that to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Um, so I contacted him uh, after we met at the center, and I said, hey, it'll be great to get dinner, hang out sometime. It's on uh, Facebook. Y'all can uh, read that, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we, uh, but in between inviting him to dinner and going to dinner, a really good friend of mine passed away. And um, the day after us having dinner was the funeral. So um, I was really broken up about it and uh, I was really kind of wasn't like in the, in the mode to have like a date or whatever, but he was trying really hard to make me happy. Um, and this is back when I was drinking still too. So he pumped me full of wine. I did. Uh, we went to dinner, we had like, uh, what was a lobster bisque or no, we had pizza. It was pizza. tomato bisque tomato and bisque. pizza. It was, <laughs> right. and then I we went to that. a hookah bar. That's and right. then afterwards he's like, okay, well I'm gonna go home and drink to the memory of my dead friends. Right. And I'm like, so melodramatic. Oh yeah. And I'm like, are you doing it by yourself? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, no one should have to do that by themselves. So I, you know, we he we go back to his place, proceed to get too drunk to drive. I thought this was a, a play. I and thought this was like a, it honestly wasn't. I, I was, thought it was, you know, just a, a an excuse no, to kind of, you know, uh, bed me. And so I'm like, all right, well, let's do this. And I was making my bed up on the floor too, because I didn't want to make him uncomfortable. I was like, you can take the bed, I'll sleep on the floor. I'm like, what are you doing? All the old tricks you're used right, to from like, your small yeah, town. Yeah, it's like, I, exactly. I'm like, I'm His humble, game, humility. his game. <laughs> He's like, um, no, come in bed with me. I'm like, oh. Oh. I see mm -hmm. where this is going. Mm -hmm. I like it. So I like to joke we're like a one night stand that's lasted, lasted. seven and a half years yeah. now because <laughs> the first you know the first time you know w it, things happen of course and then he's he's ready to hit and quit and I'm the one that called him and asked him on date number two I'm well, like well hey. yeah I thought that I mean he identified as straight I knew that he was struggling with his sexuality not that I give a fuck about it obviously but um, he. I thought that I was over. Like he was not gonna, he was gonna be another one of those straight guys I messed around with that got really scared afterwards, mm. and then decided to like never talk to me again. Right, of course. So no. I kind of like made my peace with that. But then a week later, he called me out of the blue, and <laughs> I was like, "You're was like, probably about to have another meal by yourself. I'm about to have another meal by myself. Why don't we just like do that across the table from one another?" Yeah. Mm. And, <laughs> and he was just like, "I like him." I'm like okay. <laughs> And yeah, yeah and then the rest are. is a uh, history. The rest is fucking on YouTube. And so well, you had your own YouTube channel at that time. Yeah. yeah. And then when you guys really started to progress, when did you decide like, okay, we're gonna start filming everything? Well, it was, Ooh. we would make videos when we would go to like, we lived in Florida, so we would go to theme parks or we would go to the beach and we would record our day. And when people watched it, they're like, oh my God, this is absolutely crazy to see a gay couple just recording their day. Same sex, same sex couple. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. same sex couple. <laughs> um, erased by erasure. Uh, so <laughs> when, we put, when we posted those videos, people, they were, they, I, the response was so crazy because you would get, I live in Kansas and I've never met a gay person, but I'm gay. It's crazy to see a gay couple just like living their life, not caring about 
what anyone else thinks. You guys are kissing on the beach. That's something I hope to do one day. Right. Yeah. So I was like, well, fuck, are we onto something? Like, is this something that we could really do and like change people's lives? Yeah. It was, it was the, it was the subscribers who are like, you guys should do this every day. Right. Because daily vlogging was already kind of a thing, but it was only opposite sex couples that were doing it. There mm -hmm. wasn't really a same there sex, a same -sex couple daily vlog. It. And so we're like, we'll try it for a month. Uh -huh. like, yeah. And it just, it, it goes January, nuts. That was January of 2012. And during that month, our subscribership and viewership doubled. And we were, we're like, like, oh my God, what is happening right now? This wow. is crazy. Yeah. Like, okay, well, we'll try it again for another month. If that month goes well too, then we'll keep going. And so. we, yeah, by the time we hit f the end of February, it was like, okay, we've got to we at least do it for a year. Just stay. And then by the end it. of 2012, it was like, yeah, we're... Like Let's this, just we're on to something here. When it, yeah. the checks were coming in, yeah. the fan mail was coming in. Yeah. Well, and it was—I mean, the fan mail was like someone who worked at an LGBT homeless shelter in New York City, and it was like, "I'm showing your videos, videos. to kids who are kicked out of their homes to show them that yeah, there's still hope. There's still wow. hope." And yeah. I'm like, and we're like, "Wow, no, like people, we can never I mean, stop." The letters ever. we got. There were people that had been raped and like contracted HIV from the rape, and they said, "I almost gave up until I found your channel." Wow. Or there's it's like so much pressure, but I'm like, oh my god, I'm so glad that like this is what YouTube is supposed to be about, like using the platform, putting good into the world, and I don't know. West Africa, we got a letter from a West couple Africa. letter from West, oh, West this, Africa. This oh guy god, had, to, um, had to escape, escape with his boyfriend because they they got outed, and mm -hmm. so like the police were looking for them. Wow. And we finally got a, we were so worried, and then we got a letter from them like we're in South, South Africa, Africa with my now. aunt. We're so <laughs> yeah. it was it's that's, crazy. that honestly was what kept us going. Mm -hmm. Like, because if stories. you're wanting to make money on YouTube, there are vastly easier ways yes, to make Yes, there is. <laughs> Don't we know it, Lady Red. She, <laughs> she knows. She yeah. knows. Like, she knows. <laughs> so, yeah, like, that was what really kept us going for as long as, as we did. Because it was the fact that we knew, like, people search their entire lives for ways to make a difference. Yeah. And we just... Found it. Stumbled into it, yeah. You know, and just was, by doing your normal thing. Yeah, yeah it's like awesome. how many people get to say that you get to like change the world by being yourself? Like that's awesome. That's now, amazing. as you're doing it for so many years, are you? Do you guys have meetings like, okay, this week's clickbaity titles uh. will be <laughs> um, boyfriends making it, no wild sex party at Target, <laughs> uh, penises, penises, boner party, <laughs> big uh. boners. Um, well, you also got to think about the thumbnail too. The yeah, thumbnail yeah, is very, very, someone's very gotta important. Someone's got to be shirtless. Someone's uh, got to be in a bed. Right. That's yeah. why I started going to the gym. It's because I'm like, we need some eye candy. Yeah, you're here. like, now I'm an underwear model, guys. Perfect for the channel. <laughs> yeah. No, um, it was. We tried. I mean, that's obviously a line that everybody has to walk on oh, YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was more. Our, our thing was to try to not let the 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 clickbaity title or the thumbnail dictate whatever the it dictate the content right. mm -hmm. it was just a matter of trying to get attention just let stuff right. happen organically um, and then handpick whatever we thought was going to be yeah, the yeah because most like there there thing. are videos that are like mother-in-law visits or something like that so obviously that's not clickbait and yeah. those videos are buried because no one wants to watch them <laughs> yeah. but the second I talk about RJ's dick wow 100,000 <laughs> views right. every night uh, imagine that uh, uh, I mean yeah. wow. whoosh um, shade well, um, well I was shade. looking I was looking up you guys on the internet and literally when you put in Will and RJ the second thing that comes up is Will and RJ fan fiction really okay I brought oh. some. Oh my gosh, I live. Okay. I live, now, I cannot wait. I was like, these motherfuckers, and then was, let me tell you, there were stories, there were chapters, there were you know, oh, novels. Was, now <laughs> this one is, uh, this is about when RJ, you've just gotten off work, and oh, then you realize you have to go to the gym, and then <laughs> you, so here we are, here we, we're, we back in your house. Okay. RJ slowly closed the door to the apartment, trying to listen for sounds of Will or Casey. In oh, the distance, Casey. he could hear the shower running. A slow grin crossed his face Slow. as he realized they were alone and Will was naked and soapy. <laughs> RJ was so happy that he skipped the gym today. He had done it because of his sore muscles, but now all he could think of was Will. Crossing the apartment, he began unbuttoning his light purple work shirt. The details, the light red. purple. Uh, light purple. It was purple and white, like <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Right. pattern. Quickly stripping down to his boxers, he crossed the room to the bathroom door. Peering through the slight crack, he saw Will slowly I'm lathering a his body and with man. soap 
and dancing to his rendition of Let's Have a Geek. I mean, what? it goes on. Needless to say, it ends with the bathroom began to fill with steam until finally nothing was visible except a single hand yeah, pressed it, yeah. against the shower door. Oh, which I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. If that's, if that's how it ends, I'm like, no, 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 keep going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like nine more pages of this fucking story. Oh, yes. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my God, Ooh. you guys. You need your so your now, oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so well, hot. Well, RJ. Yes. So, uh, you guys also share a lot of personal stuff. You both have struggled with PTSD. Mm-hmm. I mean, you talked about your whole drinking, th- st- yeah. you're stopping drinking. Yeah. And you got arrested because you got into a fight for mm-hmm. drinking. That, yeah. I mean, oh, that was you. That, that was, was me. him. He that got was, oh, yeah. my goodness. So now, how how is that to balance? Like, you know, it's like, yeah, we're taking a shower and we're playing with boners in a light way. And then it's like PTSD. PTSD, it's a, lot to, it's a lot to handle. It's a very challenging line to walk and I feel like that that was one of the reasons why we may not have grown as much as some other channels is just because we we wanted to be real about it we wanted to be authentic about it um, and so yeah it's definitely a line you kind of have to walk constantly and it, and it's really it was kind of like especially going through like the, the the arrest ordeal it was like having the vlogs in the back of your mind too it's like adding to the stress of it right yeah um, but at the same time like the whole reason that we got notoriety in the first place was being honest being honest and so we felt like it was a disservice to the people that were really jazzed about our channel if we didn't come forth and be honest about the the issues that we were facing but at the same time there there had to be like a balance to I needed to figure it out first. Like, a, yeah. there's the, it's still a personal thing that I'm dealing with. Yeah. Let me wrap my head around it, and once I have some kind of stability in my head, then I can talk about it. Exactly. So. Yeah. It's it's sometimes you got to process your own stuff before you can really sort of share. Because a lot of times, you know, when you share stuff with an audience, like they they can be a little bit passionate. Mm-hmm. They can be very, you know. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> so sometimes when you share something, you gotta you gotta help them process it a right. little bit, and mm-hmm. so it's very necessary for you to have processed stuff yourself before you sort of share mm-hmm. things. So Microsoft. what is next for you guys? Like what's, you, you've you done the daily vlog, you've gotten married, yeah. <laughs> you're now, you know, you're in a really good space. Yeah. And what's the, the dream for beyond this? Or like the continuation or whatever it is. Yeah, so, um, well, I guess I'll let you go first. Oh, me? Well, it's it's a matter of, um, I mean, I've always aspired to work in media. So, um, you know, I'm definitely trying to, um, you know, do some writing, do some producing, do some direct, you know, all that stuff. Um, you know, that, that L.A. Hollywood grind. Yeah. Part of it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Part of it. I'm sure you're aware. Uh, yeah, and, and just, you know, I'm a, I'm a creative person, and so any chance I get to be creative and get some coin and make a living doing it, is I'm all for it. Right. So. Yeah. I had like a master's degree in statistics and I wasn't using it when I was making videos I every know, day. Lady Six, math six degree. I know, Lady Math degree. How dare you? Like, I killed myself for that degree too. Those so. glasses are not just for I looking know. cute. No. I was thinking, because I heard you like sexy nerds and put some tape right yes. here. Yes. I really appreciate it. That was our it. jam wink, wink, for like a wink. summer, se- like whole summer. Like <laughs> obviously I took that song to heart. <laughs> yes, 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 you nerd. did, honey. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would, you know, like to still stay something relative to YouTube, maybe do some influencer marketing. Um, my goal is to continue, help people that got our start and continue yeah. making the content that they want to create because they're putting good into the world mm. and helping make their dreams become a reality like ours did. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That is heart so heart yes. <laughs> You're both so mm. cute. Oh, and a smooch. Look and at that a smooch. <laughs> Boys, thank you so much for being here. Of You're course. so oh, adorable. I love you. And honey, you both snatch yourself some drugs. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What is there you go. Yes. There you Suck go. it, queer yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> I want to let you know that I respect your relationship and your love well, and your you. bisexuality, but there's no lady lap dancer, okay? That's but fine. But there's two I'm... big hot male lap dancers for what? your couples. My lap lap dancer. Dancer.
Sasha Show look at all, looking at all of oh. their famous friends. Woo. And we'll see you guys next time on A Queen. Thanks, fellas. Bye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>